guys and welcome to another episode of Hank's True Barbecue. I thought I was going to show you how to clean your Kamado grill. In my case it's a big green egg, but the same applies for all types of uh, ceramic grills. Now the nice thing about barbecue is you get to play with fire under controlled circumstances and playing with fire is fun and we're going to utilize that today. With most modern indoor ovens there's a feature called pyrolysis which basically means you incinerate all that residue and then it's quite easy to scrape it off. We're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, typically, I always do that at the end of a cook because I usually have a few hours left of charcoal in my grill. So all I do is just open all the vents and just let it rip. In this case, it's quite messy. I'm going to show you soon. So what I thought I was going to do is get it properly cleaned up today. So it's all nice and nice and clean and tidy for tomorrow's big cook, which is going to be a nice steak, steak dinner. So. But uh, fellow doctors, if you will, come with me, I'll show you the patient outdoors. All right, here it is. Now, look at this, who left such a mess on the grill? Either way, we're gonna get rid of this and get it real cleaned up, but time to put the gloves on and get to work. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of ash down there. Just make sure all these little air holes are all, cl all clean so we get the fire breathing properly, that way we can properly incinerate all the dirt in here but first it's time to add some charcoal Right, time to get the fire going. This time we don't have to worry about, you know, just setting fire to the small part of the charcoal. We want to get everything going now. So I'm just going to leave it as is for 10, 15 minutes and come back and check on it. Now we've got a nice fire going. So I'm just going to put the deflector plate in place beforehand, get that warmed up before the fire gets really roaring. It's always nice when someone else does the work for you, in this case utilizing fire to clean this mess up. Well, it's getting real nice and hot there, and so now we're just gonna let it rip. I don't even have the top vent on, I just took it off completely, so just gonna leave it like 30 minutes later and it's all good, nice and clean. It's been running for like 15 minutes, let's check it out. Ooh, that is hot. Let's see if I can measure the temp here. 400 degrees Celsius, that's pretty intense. All right, let's leave it for another 10 minutes and then we should be done, so. Nice, coming along nicely. Let's take a look. It's still burning, but as you can see here, it's all white. So you see here, I can just scrape off all the dirt. It's real nice and clean, almost looking like factory new. So this is the way to roll. Now that was easy, wasn't it? So the next time you've done a cook, just open the vents, set that fire free, and you'll have a nice clean Kamado for the next cook. Now, thanks for watching. Thank you.